the leeway on that, but no, screw that. No, Vitality is going to smash them. Why am, I, why am I coming in your direction? Okay. Why am I doubting Vitality? Don't get because you know I'm right. Him. You know. <laughs> I've thought plenty of things in my life, but that thought has never crossed me. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get into it. It is uh, the reigning champions of Paris versus the sole hope of NA, and it's with Scrawny and Launders. Nothing like a bickering couple on the desk, Mohan, to yeah. really set the tone for this one. You can North also add some hope to NA as well, by uh, the way. Just so. a bit, sprinkle yeah. it in. Complexity versus Vitality. 2-1 game in a day where Imperial could challenge FaZe. I do think we have to be on our toes for Vitality. They showed us in Katowice at the start of the year that this wasn't going to be that easy smashing that they had put forth in the tail end of 2023. You know, there's a little nervousness on the faces of Vitality fans, even if Maniac hides it well. <laughs> it's true because you never know what you're going to get these days. And um, Vitality are still proving with this new lineup. They're still proving. They've done well, but they're still proving. Ooh, nice start from Halzerk. That one's going to feel good, but the pressure's on. The chase is in. Ooh, oh, oh, Halzerk making that P2000 work. Spinks, he's been the best player for Vitality. Uh, Zywoo's been a little under the weather, he said. Let me take that space, support me, and now give it a chance to do everything. Three players emerge from the smoke. The Glock just can't find a home versus any of them, but it was still a nice recovery to get that bomb down. Halzerk showing a nice bit of mechanical skill to kick off this pistol. And if you got the chance to catch Complexity versus Heroic, you saw that Halzerk um, and Nikodaz were both doing an excellent job rifling in that map just because of the circumstances that they had to pick up the gun, but we all still house, see Halzerk pick up the op here on CT side, but some great shots coming in. And we are looking for a game for the opera of complexity, of course, because there's a pretty good opera on the other team. Even if he sometimes ops even less. The weird stat with Zaiwu is just that he's picking up the op sort of less and less over the years, honestly. I heard he's just making room for Simple to join the team. <laughs> no, no, no. He's trying to block Simple out who wants to come in as a rifler. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's got to cover all his bases. <laughs> JT, somebody who we have got to give credit to in the uptick of Complexity's success, has been playing some of the statistically best Counter-Strike of his career. And not afraid to take challenges, as he will get the better of Zaiwu. Nice spray back through smoke for JT. Whoa. Clean double kill. And this is one thing, right? We saw Complexity open up with pistol wins so far here in Copenhagen. And then when they lose that follow-up round, man, it is Tilt City. Yeah, that's what happened when they played against Maus. And they never got their footing back beneath them. 20 years of Complexity as a Counter-Strike organization. Only making top eight at a major once. Face at London 2018. Fell short in the quarterfinals. And this Cole with a 2-0 start to try and secure the second top eight in their history. Three chances in best of threes. Going to be versus tough teams. They realize that now as they just stay passively waiting for Vitality to make their move. There's no eyes on Balcony, so Floppy's a little cautious, but he at least does get the trade to Boiler and ready for the mid-swing. Big hold from Floppy, and Elise will come over to clean up. There's something about the way that people are getting executed right now that it's just fast. First frame deaths here from everybody getting cleaned with a headshot and then a body shot right after. That's across the map now, opening kill from JT. And uh, all the A players, no questions asked. Of all the matches today, it felt like an inevitability that Complexity will be playing again tomorrow because this is the hardest competition that they have to play against. It would be, it would sort of throw everything into disarray, I think, in terms of expectations if they were able to win versus Vitality. But you can tell by their match versus Mouse, they obviously expected more. And I like that anger because it shows that they believe in themselves, not that they expected to lose. Yeah, if you get completely swamped like that and you're not pissed off at yourself, I'm in for this competition. Why are you playing? Why are you playing? MP9 to deal with the pistols here, so it's going to very much be Vitality losing pistol. Get nothing in the follow up. And having to take one on the chin here, round three. You know, I do think that when Complexity have a strong foundation in any match, then they always have a chance to win from that point on. But they are so susceptible to an earthquake 
if an eco round comes up against them, that they can at times go into disarray. Free fall for complexity is something we have seen all too often. Mm -hmm. Victims of comebacks, heartbreaks, misery. Oh my god. Mezzi arrives on the B site. Tons of damage done here for the three remaining members of Vitality who will take over the coffin's control. Elise rotating in. Bomb gets chucked over. And that bomb should be planted. No, 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 sir. Elise chucks out the frag grenade <laughs> to finish this one off. It's looking like three alive. But we've also got Zywoo in a clutch, so you never let your guard down. That was a good molly. He couldn't... Uh... Surely oh! not. Dude, I mean, as he's falling, peeks deep to CT, oh. and that's where Floppy's going to best him, making sure that Zywoo can't get up to his wild antics. That was a good molly because you would go for the lineup normally close to... Um... Um, on the on the right, but uh, he wouldn't have an angle to have Molly default. But with his Molly, he could push in and, and fight default. So I think they were very scared to try to plant no cover on the push from CT. And smartly so. So we're looking at some Vitality players trying to get on board. Two Deagle kills so far in that last round were really nice. but they'll need a little bit more, and look who's coming. Yeah, first gun round, you're gonna let Elise off his leash. Oh boy, oh, oh no! Oh my. Elise shoots one bullet, gives away what could have been an excellent opening. Let's see if the teammates can recover. As he sits and has to put his full faith in teammates to pick up slack that he left on the table. An uncharacteristic mechanical failure from someone who holds himself to the highest of standards. Pulsar giving utility here for Floppy to peek behind, doing a great job of just taking these players back so far and only four rounds in. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But the individual levels of Elysia's teammates is enough to prop him up complexity moving forward 2v4 to try and press into this site third rotators over we get of course the anchor inside of arch side as the second t has yet to be confirmed and now that he is they both face they both fall and complexity give no leeway barring that alige hiccup down middle it's looking great yeah i mean that was a, a mistake that he doesn't normally make he would have definitely got a free kill if he had hit this shot and even past that point, perfect refrag from Hauser, perfect rotations. Everybody else is looking very, very good. So yeah, I mean, you know, the European Union has a flag. Maybe we need like a, do we have like a North American flag? I don't think so. We could maybe do one with maple leaves mm. instead of stars. We'd also have to include Mexico if we're talking North America. Still going with the maple leaves though. Okay. We'll run it by Moses, see if he approves. Deep nades down middle, and the T's get close on pistols. You know, I just have this eerie feeling that this series is going to have some wild rounds. Anytime Zai was alive, you already saw that one deagle, right? Okay, nice. Halzerk, man. He is a... He is delivering right now. That's a nut spray. I mean, great use of the AUG. And that's a gun that we want to see oppers on when they're not opping, you know? Screw any other rifle. Why not, right? Yeah. Let's you hold back further angles. You can hold angles now in general, so... Oh, dude, everybody's hitting shots. What's happening at the moment? What's happening? Dude, look at that snap. Time to kill for Hulzerk at a minimum. Four kills versus the pistols, and Vitality go down 0-5. Anubis is a good map for, for complexity, but in terms, like, the last time they played, it was Vitality mopped them up, and they also did mop them up on Inferno as well, so the veto should look good for Vitality overall. But uh, current form matters more than anything else. And this game is... I don't know. I'm no, I don't know. I'm trying to look for some upsides here for Vitality. But at the moment, it's just so decisive for complexity. I almost feel bad for them. I almost do. Feel bad for? Matthew. Oh. Them.
jokes aside, we had Spinks say that, you know, Zaiwu, you got to cover me because he was not, he was feeling a little under the weather. And that's not something that you want to have to talk about. Not the most important event of the, of the, of the year, but Spinks did step up. Yes, he did. Highest rated player for Vitality, despite their shortcomings so far in top 16. Morris Zaiwu down to half health and burning through his util to just stay alive. Second gun round for Vitality. The first one left us with nothing really to talk about. And we all wait, holding our breath, expecting great things from Vitality. Content to see complexity challenge. And JT, he feels it. Down banana, he will stomp right into the headshot. Whoa. Spamming the smoke no to Apex. Trade. No trade. Zaiwu doesn't come out and punish. He definitely could have stepped in Now he'll of catch it. them off, trying to go in, but Grim's ready for the repeek, and suddenly it's another gun round that's falling flatlined. I mean... What's happening? I have no idea, but I think... I don't know how you don't go and trade that. If he's spray transferring the bottom of Banana and not clearing you, Zaiwu, inside a bell, why would you think that uh, you can't come up for the refrag? They needed it. He got away completely back turned. Of course, there was support behind him. But uh, how much material can you afford to lose? You're not in a winning position just staying alive right there. You cannot point to a member of Complexity right now who hasn't hit clean headshots. It's sometimes it's like flirting versus harassment when we criticize one player or not another just because of how good they normally are. And you know, it's not oftentimes you criticize someone like Zaiwu because most of the time they're playing better than everyone else. But that's a moment where you go, huh? Think they needed that trade. But either way, a, a great um, spray transfer through the smoke. Counter terrorists win. Complexity dominate banana once again. Challenge was there for the taking. Now, people might be like, oh, there's a molly, but you still take a tick or two of damage. Look. Apex frustration's already starting to mount the way he looks down the line. Oh, it must be a Wednesday. <laughs> you know, known to wear his emotions at all times, arguably because he cares about his teammates. Their success, their ceiling, and the results they put forth. Much like Napoleon, he loves his troops. Grim, he gets vision down banana. And doesn't stick around to force any kind of a fight, so that's Vitality at the very least, flushing complexity out of the top of banana for what feels like the first time ever. We are halfway through this T side, and they are without a round win. In this round, just working with the two AKs as well. So complexity slowly but surely tiptoeing their way to a masterclass of a CT half. JT dives back into sight. He's poked them. And Elyse hopes to join them, his teammates, before the commitment comes out of Vitality. Met by Smoke and a flash to boot. JT peeks around, does damage, but there's two deaths here. Big cleanup from Grim. And then Elyse, through the CT smoke, he topples what managed to get through that smoke, that front-facing smoke that cuts off Apex and Sphinx. Sphinx's successful lurk over on A doesn't net them much, but the bomb has managed to get through construction. Yeah, and we do have a boost on Quad. They have no idea that this is here. Uh, of course, Apex is just about to walk up. I don't think he has an angle on Elyse's head from this position, but uh, surely the kill is incoming. He sees this. Oh man, this could be such a wonderful moment for Apex. He just has to nail both and he will! Oh. The B defense ripped apart by Bonaparte. And now as he grabs AK backsight, Vitality are looking for their first. Oh and six, up until that moment, Apex slips through with Bomb, took everything onto his own shoulders and just looks to lock in the kill versus Floppy, who gets in close, oh. dying out a trio of frags out of Apex. He's done it all. The captain strikes again. That is pretty amazing. You can definitely blow that in that situation. Had to hit both shots. Made sure to nail it. And I gotta say, I was about to praise complexity some more. We have Grim coming in, perfect composure, right after the flash from CT spawn. 
grabs the two kills that go south when the T's are just barreling through, scrappy through a smoke with the flash of their own. And it feels like complexity are just going to corral another scary moment and put it to bed. Instead, Vitality, open the door. Oh, but Halzerk, this is new. Hits the player in the background, oh, off present. So perfect. Just starts cranking the cannon down banana. Elise tries to get frisky in middle, looking to be the playmaker once more. But now sitting confidently at the bottom of Complexity's scoreboard. While Cole sit pretty 6-1, there is a single piece of this puzzle that's not quite finding its mark, and that is Elise. Not that he'll be deterred by a slow start. He's just got to keep his head on straight and hope his teammates pick up this slack. Halzerk overwhelmed by Flamesy, flashbang out from Grim. He's gonna peek around it, and they line up for a bunch of damage, but Vitality have managed to get through. Ooh, there's the leverage. It's the eco round into the second round in a row. And Grim does a lot right there. But even with his two kills, 2v2 post plant, scary spot for Complexity, who have two anchors very far away on the other side of the map. So that's Vitality's way back in. Again, it's not about losing an eco round, it's about how you react to it. Not just how you react to losing the eco round, but how you react to misclicking down bottom mid and losing a chance at an opening kill, how you react to pushing through mid smoke and getting barrel stuffed close arch. How you react to all of these things compiling on top of Elise right now. Another round where he has no impact. Flames double entry into the B site, keeps himself up, keeps vitality going. And the state of affairs over on Complexity is fine, right? A well-earned, convincing 6-0 start means money in their back pockets and a chance to stop the bleeding now. Yeah, they do always strike us as a team that get obsessed with how the game's going as opposed to just focusing on the next round. So, but it's always good to see the tests, right? Everyone, everyone has to pass that test. When you play teams at this level, you are going to lose some Ecos. You are going to get outdone on rounds you're supposed to win. That's part of the game. Oh my god, this is... Walking wait, 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 that's a, that was a fast step, right? It's being covered, so... Surely. And it gets held onto. Floppy's been a solid anchor of short side. Boiler, mid, Valk, doesn't matter. Keeping his head on a swivel and keeping the A defense erect. JT, he's got Nade in hand, and so does Grim. This is a dangerous walk up from Vitality, but the swing is punished. Apex hits the dirt, his counterpart, and JT finds the shot, but mm. again, a player slips through once more. Somebody from Vitality has a chance to catch them off. Elise calming. Mezzi ends up getting the kill from inside of the site. Or killed from site, rather. He might have seen it and tucked. We don't know. Another perspective. But uh, luckily they don't let that one slip because that's how they lost the round last time. Two players left. 2v5. Another 2v5 situation. Like, yeah, the two rounds of Vitality won were pretty clever, but all of the rounds of complexity of one have looked unbelievably dominant. Complexity at the best start to the stage, of course, getting into the 3-0 matchups. Uh, nothing's guaranteed. Usually your 2-0 match is going to be difficult. The interesting part is they sort of lost to the dark horse of the event. Now Mao's um, having beat them and beat them so badly that they enter playoffs with a huge amount of confidence that I think most people probably feel like their odds, you know, it's not with phase, it's not with vitality, it's with spirit and then Mao's to make it to the finals, now being on opposite sides of the bracket. So mm -hmm. depends how bad complexity you want to feel about that, right? They may have lost to a team that is going to bulldozer their way through the playoffs. We have no idea yet. We'll have to see that story unfold in the next stage. Um, but for now, maybe it's not an indictment on how good complexity are or aren't losing to a team like Mouse, even if it was that bad. But you saw in that interview with TC, he was definitely very frustrated um, 
with how players showed up and their reactions to situations. So the mental aspect of the game, we don't get to hear about too often. It's good to get moments like that. Feeling a little more frisky this time into Boiler. He'll go versus Spinks. This could be such a key duel. And with the flash, he peeks out, but he looks the wrong way. Not expecting Floppy to be that aggressive inside of the Boiler in contrast to his usual top balk or under balk positioning. I think the scariest part for Vitality right now is they're getting outdone in almost every opening setup, right? In terms of preparation coming into the start of these rounds, Complexity's kills all look like very methodical, well thought out, and uh, we're not seeing massive flicks or anything. We're just seeing perfectly timed peaks. A level of comfort on Inferno. The complexity can hang on to. JT gun back out as he hears them coming at him. It's a spray and a half, and a necessary trade out of Mezzi, smoked off by the B defender, and a quick scramble out of both Elysian and Halzerk. Then a moment of hesitation. But there is no late lurk on A, no Sphinx in play. Vitality's three remaining members very much set up inside of Banana, so we're gonna get this Elyse and Grim combo. Pressure to the back site, but Amali that doesn't burn out new box. Uh -oh. Grim is given a pocket to play, and Vitality have made a mistake. And this could be costly. Oh, but he steps, gets hurt, and still sprays damage out. Zaiwu barely standing, but he'll take that top rope on Orange. Has to plant instead. And what's left of complexity comes rolling over through the CT spawn. Halzerk on the prowl with a Molotov in hand, a frag grenade to boot from Floppy. But an angle head by Zaiwu, just don't miss. Halzerk creeps in, wide swing punished, and no trade out from Halzerk. It is Mezzi to get closer towards construction door. Halzerk not feeling like he has a road to enter, and sure enough, complexity will let them in. A liege dying with nothing. And Grim given a chance, but that step on the fire gave them a warning. And yeah, Vitality react fast enough. I don't know. He's still got his kill in half, right? Um, they missed the molly. That's a sort of a, a big mistake, but um, that's a small thing. But that flash was just so kind of useless, you know, versus Iwu just now. If he's playing quad or oranges, you can see that thing bouncing off of four walls. Like, there's no, it's not hard to dodge. So I think they need to be, first of all, they need to rotate way earlier. Like, why are the two guys still over on the A site when... Grimm's in a 1v3 situation at 18 seconds and no rotations have come out. They got this kill on JT at the top of Banana. Then they had a very good idea of where most players were on the map. And yet they decided to sit where they were instead of getting into positions in mid or taking a lead off on the rotation. You know, that flash support in CT, even if it's not right there to fight, pushing through a smoke or something is important for the CT. So rotations were bad that round for complexity. The individual efforts were like pretty decent, and they nearly punished with Grim in the in in behind that quad molly. That can be kind of fickle with the lineup, uh, but it uh, it wasn't enough. Can't help but feel like if Elise was able to contribute when he came up through the coffin smoke, that maybe it would have been enough from Grim. But another round where he comes pushing out, looking for a fight, only to get instantly toppled. Sitting at three and five now. We're talking about Elise who powered complexity through heroic. Neither team right now have their big ticket player online. Zywoo four and eight. <laughs> Vitality may take a minute to warm up. They know they will eventually. And they know how to take it slow and wait for those moments. Ooh, there's a nice. moment. Very nice indeed. Graham gonna try to get out with something, but only the one. Then at least Halzer keeps the numbers the even. Bomb is back on steps, and again, they're, they're not in a position to have, they don't have any information in these rounds. Why is that? They're so disconnected in their A and B setups, but this time they believe it's gonna be the B site, and the fact that the bomb was left back in spawn buys them so much time to get set up. They're gonna open that as it crosses. Oh my god. 
half a second sooner, and that bomb plant could have been exposed. Molotov on top of the planter, good amount of damage. And maybe this will start to get Elyse activated. He took the long road down all through the T-spawn and is still just resting at the bottom of Banana. Doesn't look like he wants to get into this unless somebody else from Cole can serve as the trigger for this retake to happen. Molotov new box is great, right? Excellent usage of the util, but a missed chance with the op. And as Floppy gets ever closer, this coffin's position cleared out. Now they've got two Vitality members very much stuck in dark. Floppy trying to fight forward. Zaiwu given his chance to shine. And as Elise gets in late, mm. it's a triple from Zaiwu. That was delicious. Welcome to Inferno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they needed it. That was a, a nice round out of Zaiwu. Love how he took the second fight going out very wide. Made sure not to get too claustrophobic with uh, Flamesy in that position. And it could have been a bait setup, but he showed himself first. So he needed to go out into that uncomfortable angle. Take the aggressive fight. Again, a lot of things go wrong here for complexity that are just not a good look. Like, if they rotated faster once again, Molotov nade combo on the bomb plant site would have been there sooner. The nade on the smoke as Zaiwu's crossing would have been there sooner. They would have maybe been able to catch off Zaiwu on the stairs sooner, and they would have all been in that position way earlier. And the only reason that they were even close is because the bomb was left back on steps. Finally, after all this success from Complexity out of the gate, they're on a broken buy to close out this CT side. Oh, what could have been. You really shouldn't find yourself in a situation two versus five on the B site, even if your players can get one or two each. If you're in that spot, you don't have enough info. Go for the boost on the banana wall, smoke out from the... Sandbags players, Fraggle open it, and Apex, damn, he slays him before he sees him. Messi catching a leash too, that's the M4 to go down. Holzer trying to sprint over from CT spawn to stop whatever is indeed coming, but this is just Vitality getting into a comfortable position on Banana, poising themselves for the all-in hit again. Still note, bombs down towards T spawn, so they can't pull that trigger just yet. Cautious that maybe Complexity does get active sooner rather than later, but once more, it's just an anchor and Floppy sitting inside of A. So banking that the two remaining defenders can do something special, the rumblings of the Execute with Utility inbound, and another smoke over the top. JT's gonna have to do something spectacular here with just the sidearm. It's a nice clean headshot to kick it off. Good damage for the second. Cautious of the approach over top, but Flamesy reroutes, and so Vitality will get into this B site, and it feels as though Complexity simply cannot stop them. Yeah, simply back in the game now with these uh, full-on B hits that have come out. They found their tempo. Floppy's dropped by Zaiwu to close this out. Zaiwu finishes the half positive after an incredibly slow start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And had a, had a good round in there. Apex had an amazing round with the Lurk through construction to get his, you know, his team that sort of first eco to open things up. And then I think we just saw complexity sort of atrophy as the half went on in terms of, like, playing passive, playing um, aggressive are two things that you should do in every match in the right situations. But the, the reason that we attribute playing passive to playing scared is because you play passive all the time when you have no communication. Sometimes it's the right idea, but... As the half went on, it felt like they were not playing as a team who was winning, as a team who was shooting better, and instead playing very reactive and waiting for things to happen. One site to fall, then the other comes and joins. And I think there has to be some credence for the fact that even if you don't have three players stacked in the site, having the third player closer as the right. exact come, can come in can throw so much key utility for you. The roof flash over the top of quad, that can help, your, uh, that can help Grim fight uh, without blinding him. We never had that a single time. And when J JT couldn't get both frags pushing down banana every round, yeah. then things started to fall like a house of cards. It felt like we had a couple of moments where Complexity tried to get a little closer mid-round. You know, Elise trying to get through mid-smoke, Elise going down middle two times and getting nothing for it. But when he stopped doing that, whether it was to keep himself alive or whatever not, nobody else picked up that mantle, right? We never get the alt mid-fight. We never had that fast pressure. That's a good point. That was the only aggressive uh, peak like they when, took on this it's side. It's like when he couldn't do it, oh, we, then then none of oh, us can. Maybe. But here we get it. The CT's coming at the pistol. T's are very much set up, but instantly we get a couple kills out from Vitality. And Ooh. then the response. Holzer can floppy onto the chase. Saiwu tapping it 
Dragon Heads tries to keep it composed, but JT will best him, and Apex has to come up big. Needs to lead through into A, stop by Floppy. Complexity will kick this half off with success as they did the last. Yes, they do, man. That was really nice. Leveraging, again, Halzerk's proficiency on these pistols to make things go back to square one here for Vitality as we switch over. You can dress it up however you want, but pistol rounds come down to headshots. It's very low, low utility round. There's more simplistic plays. And it's the players who are individually consistent that will really tip the scales for you. Right now, that individual level comes from a trio of complexity players. Floppy, JT, Halzer, Zeus, however, luckily gets traded, right? Oh, it's a no. one and done. The USP to a leash. And for a second, it's a 4v3. But everybody is here to try and just charge headstrong through what is only USPs, and only two of them. You've already lost a player to the vanilla pistol, and so they'll make sure that nobody else falls victim to it. Elige is getting bullied. Yeah, he is not, he's not entering the game just yet. And it's true, you know, he tried his plays. And I always think back to that um, uh, the podcast he did where he talked about his A, B, and C game. And I think that that's just something that everyone does, but he's really good at verbalizing and, you know, making it methodical. But um, on a day where things aren't going right, you know, when do you slow down? How do you play better, safer angles that are maybe not as aggressive? But in this situation, it could be a matter of luck too. I mean, those two rounds that we saw those pushes came down to very small timings where it didn't work for him. That one bullet into underpass, like, okay, when is that gonna happen? Is that because he was nervous? I don't think so. So. It depends on how it feels in his head. But at the end of the day, he's three and nine. While at the very least, his team is winning and three of his teammates are also performing yeah, very the, well. The attitude is just, I've got more time to get back online. Yes, sir. People who are too obsessed with carrying can um, sort of lose sight on the goal. <laughs> so, four rounds away from set goal. Yeah. A map one victory over Vitality and a best of three to qualify for top eight. And to note, Vitality's map pick of Inferno. Into their first gun round of the defense. Look at the turtles over on Vitality. See, they I mean they they're pushed into they're pushed into banana aggression at this timing, so they go and see everything. It's a really good play here from Vitality. It releases two to rotate over Freelay. But Mezzi and Zaiwu have no idea about Arch. They nope. can't their teammates have to come in slowly because of this. That smoke's about to come up here. And Sphinx is gonna play in front of it. Yeah, he gets into the site, so third player in. Just in time, but still good pace here for complexity. Yeah, Apex calling it. They're running by. Sphinx tries to turn from Flash. Then the site players activate. Chance for Apex. Uh, He's gonna swing. And Grim gets two headshots. Halzerk's up from short. Zywu in the corner. Oh. All they need. Put Zywu in the pocket and let him thrive. What was this? What was the what was the swing on the on the wrap right there? There was two players who were beside each other trying to leave the peak versus the guy back defaults who turned from a flash. They basically needed to full commit. And they don't have the arch smoke in which means a second player who's come over was able to just push through. If Grim doesn't get his miraculous 90-degree trade, I mean, that's not even a close round. So Complexity had a good timing on that, but fair play to Vitality. Those are the kind of pushes we want to see for Complexity in the first half. Agreed. You know, to get info back to help your teammates on the other side of the map. We see how important it was they went at that exact second. Yes, sir. Just something disruptive. And this round, something aggressive. Flames, he's out of bullets. And he's got nowhere to run. Elise tracks him on the smoke. Ooh, but Apex going to recover it, keeping a liege muted throughout this opening map, 4 and 11. Finally, when he gets something going for himself, it is instantly taken right back. Holzerk has been sharp on these attacks, and he is ahead of the smoke. He crawls in, mm -hmm. and he catches Apex on the peak, but the dark player is Sphinx. They don't seem worried about it. Do they clear him? Oh, they half-ass it. 
And because of that, Sphinx given a great chance now. Oh, he gets the one in the back. Floppy to recover a little bit of space. A 1v3 queued up for Floppy. And he's already one kill deep. A better gun is to be had right behind him. Molotov chucked over towards Coffins. But that M4, it's empty. The reload comes in. Zaiwu already trying to challenge Smoke to give him space. But as he goes out for the swing, Mezzi will catch him, making sure that Vitality continue to close the gap. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they'll pull that one. They'll pull that one in. The 2v1 is clean. I think they start to feel a little bit less nervous of things falling apart. Sphinx's patience here is critical. Nice accuracy out of Mezzi as well. See how strong that CT peak. I mean, JT was doing the same thing that Apex was on car with the swing, and they're trying to keep it mollied so no one can do that, but he found the gap in between the first and second one. And that's just Inferno. You're going to die like that sometimes. third of Grimm's health. Vitality forego control of Banana, just leaving the single anchor in flames. So a preemptive quadruple A stack. And that starts to free up Zaiwu, who has definitely come into form, right? Him and Elyse had comparable scores, but one of the two has picked it up. Now top fragging for Vitality and prepared for this exact mid-peak. Util comes over, bit of a challenge, good damage. But there are more bodies here, and if Complexity were to have followed through, then they would have met their maker. And they're tr trying not to get naded, I think, because they're so low on two players. It's a good peel back, and again, good timing. I think they might get nervous about the, the reclaim on top banana, if it could come. But they're so low on utility, they might not be able to, you know, spread the map again. 40 seconds, and decisions must be made. Man, finding one in Cubby, right? Indicating the arch play. Balls pop with no pit player. This flashes everything. Oh, man. Apex keeps his head down. Mezzi's ahead of it. Sphinx and Mezzi. It's all too easy. And it just banks on Apex, mm. who's not even needed. The insurance policy back site. Big one from Mezzi. No pit control, but it didn't matter. They never lost short. And he just turns around, chops them off as they tried to get out Balk. Yeah. I mean, you could be look at, you could look at that from two perspectives. That it's disappointing or that it's expected. I mean, they still had enough players to stop this. They got their opening kill, but they still took a lot of damage on their way in. And they didn't have enough utility for that full follow-through punch. Um, but it does mean that now... They are in pistols. I also felt like it was going to be more of a balcony emphasis. We end up seeing a bunch of players come out boiler instead. That pack inside of apartments at a crossroads. And they meet their maker in Mezzi. Vitality on the brink of tying this one up. Deep grenade to just make the already easy job that much more simple. We could very well be looking at Elysia's worst map of CS2. Oh, man. He'll still have some runway to improve, but a daunting task at this point. 18 rounds deep, four kills to his name. And being completely canceled out on this light buy approach to the B site. Tons of smoke, and Sphinx will continue to keep the pressure up, making sure nobody's footing gets close. This is a 5-0 game. Now it'll be 9-9. Complexity into a round like this. You know, to mirror what Vitality have done to them. I said CS2's worst game perhaps for Elyse. Forgot about his scoreline in the Mao's whooping that the entire team took. 0.28 rating as they got trounced, and this one gets cleaned up with ease. So Vitality to tie the game at nine. Have Mao's broken something in Elyse? Rest of the team trying to keep this afloat, but right now complexity struggle. Their lead is gone. The second timeout 
TC's would, got to get into this. I would at least be pretty excited about the fact that they're at this tied score line, regardless of how it's a comeback. And just knowing that Elysia's not in the game yet. Like, imagine, like, we've got Halzerk in rare form. If they have the floor, which is, again, the question for at least me with the vitality or with the complexity, if that's raised today, if everyone else is showing up, is Elysia going to be due for a big round? This is why he's a superstar. So, I mean, that's what I would be focused on if I was him and what I would be hopeful for, of course, if I'm the team. And sometimes going through it like they did yesterday with Mausme can hurt your confidence or it can really build you up. I mean, you do a lot of thinking. You really focus on what you need to fix. I mean... If you lose and don't learn, that's when you lost twice. As for Vitality, they have their own internal problems this game that they have recovered from very impressively. In terms of tactics, in that first half, complexity were getting away with everything. Aim was looking so clean, all their timings on their peaks were just looking so easy. And uh, Vitality could have definitely looked in the mirror and thought, all right, today's not our day. But look at them now. Oh. They're just getting better by the round. This time they are going for the balcony. This time it is the emphasis. We wanted Messi into oh, yeah. the pit. He hears them dropping down. Nobody's cleared him. He peeks around and gets one. Two kills back. For complexity, they have found a site, and there's nobody inside of it, as has been the situation all so often. Mm. Frag grenade into the corner. Oh my Perfect. god, it stops the plant. Apex fires off the cannon. Direct hit to JT. 3v3 queued up. And things start to get a little stringy. It's mid control for complexity now lost. All they have is this apartment's wrap. Apex, he's queuing up another piece of utility, and that Molotov is not going to find the bomb plant. Halzerk puts it in the deeper corner, and as the short players start to walk up, it's going to have to be sharp shooting out of Grim. He lets them get by. Yeah, this is where Elysian and Mini Pit can play a big role. Halzerk, oh, he could be compromised. Grim does indeed hold off on short. Sphinx tries to line him up. Complexity breaking back through. And there's a Elysian getting his round at least a couple of good kills. The entries, though, were the star of the show coming out of halls with the, the perfect flash on Mezzi, who got caught off guard in the pit, had no ability to throw any utility for himself, and just had to let his teammate fight for himself. So, found his way to get back into the fight, nearly got two kills, but only one in total. And that's Complexity touching double digits first. It feels like only right after the way they started this game. Still no guarantees that they close this. And now they'll have to face the real boss, Zaiwu, on and off. Real number strong balcony hit is what gets complexity in with the gun round. Messi had a damn chance, but too much of an ask. Elise making a bit of contact while Vitality clear out top banana. No challenge at the base of it either. So they will leave Zaiwu to his own devices, freeing up two to go and get ahead of that A play if complexity were to run it back. It will certainly be met by more resistance. It looks like the gen the defense has congealed for the second. They've got the 4-1 set up, full vision on B. And again, this big bad scope on Zaiwu. And had full vision the whole time, and that flash makes it awkward. Just trying to scour down the lane, looking for something to tug on. Pressure comes in with the full-blown exec. Apex could open smoke. First one goes around, and Zaiwu, from the back of this site, misses his third shot, but at least two dead. It's numbers advantage here for Vitality and close pressure as well. JT hands busy, sprays off the mark. MP9 tries to connect, won't. And as one smoke soon fades, Elise has another to put up. It will land on the CT cross. This opens up Floppy, who's playing with the AWP to maybe hold off on Coffin. Two players left side, and a missed chance on the AWP. So JT gets down into the pit, and Elise coming back Ooh. in from Banana as the AWP shot hits. JT keeps his head down. Complexity back with the edge. Complexity back with momentum. Until Sphinx shaves one off to send that Tremor down Complexity, but it's all good. They shake in the post plant, they hang on for dear life, and they hold this. Yeah, Floppy the hybrid gets the up, goes onto the deep angle. When they saw him swinging out, they knew that it's going to be quad or something on Banana that he's not worried about to come out to that fight. That's really nice. If they went full passive in a 3v4, they'll lose space and get crushed. 
but they went for it that round. It was a good hold from Zaiwu. Getting two from that spot as the op is, should be perfect, you know? I mean, it's not an easy site to retake by any means, but it does give your team the best chance possible. But they give over that golden gun to Floppy and he hit the one shot they needed to tip the scales back in their favor. Final timeout for Vitality having to stop Complexity here and now. Complexity had the great start, but they have to earn it the hard way. But that's close here on T side. It's not a complexity game unless it gets close. <laughs> it's just not, yeah. <laughs> I just hope you lose all your hair before me. That's my only wish. <laughs> oh, man, but look at the position they're in now. Mm -hmm. The money is that last evaporated round. here for Vitality. That is a big ticket. And it comes by way of floppy anchoring backside JT and Pitt with more impact. Grim is climbing the scoreboard. This is everybody other than a liege on complexity coming into their own and doing what they have to to try and go map up. Now, two player space. That's the one rifle that CT's had to work with. JT has to keep this on a swivel. The flank is coming up behind him. It is Zaiwu who's about to grab an AK, but yeah. he gets caught. JT cautious enough to keep things in full control. And the bomb just figuring out which side it could go to, but it's open on both ends. As they wait out this one smoke. High pressure situation there for JT up in apps. Yeah, he put his cape on. Save the day, though. He'll let him grab those weapons. As he pops up, he'll make sure to stop Flame Z. Last player challenges and wins it. But Apex not going to go for this clutch. This is a 12th round for Complexity. Wow. Three rounds, Mohan, not to bad. take away Vitality's map pick. Yeah, not bad, man. And the way that they've gotten better in this uh, second half has been something to watch. I mean, we had a couple of good rounds for for Elish, who in the last three or four, I think he was had four, four kills or something. He had the two kills in the post plans on the A site. So climbing, climbing slowly, but um, again, he has such such a good team right now. Look at everybody on this roster at the moment. I mean, Grim had great shots. They've all had their big moments. But of course, certainly not over. Vitality save up for another full buy. And I wonder, they can't afford an op, so they're not gonna have an op on this round. They'll have all the utility. They need all the good guns. Kip for Zaiwu too. The one in this next round for Vitality. So some shortcomings, but definitely enough. Will there be a moment for Vitality to step up? Or does that strong start from complexity and grind through this T side? Both pistols and full conversions in their back pockets. The formula for a complexity Inferno win has been put in place. One last step over the finish line to make this series real interesting. Hmm. A lot of pressure down banana. Uh, CT setups have been somewhat questionable with a lot like how much space they give up. Nothing in brackets. They've let an arch time and go. I think JT's calling this out, honestly, with how light he is approaching this. Spinks is trying to hold it back, but with a grenade in hand. Everyone's been trying to space this smoke. It can be dangerous. Makes him a little nervous. Apex jump spotting. Flames on high alert. Nicely Ooh. done. Alicia hits the ground with nothing. Flashbang as well here to challenge the... Oh, no. Smoke. Deny vision. Grab bomb. Perfection. Zywoo catches JT this round. Vitality can do no wrong. Mm. Holzerk will be toppled by Apex, mm -hmm. and that is double digits both teams. That was beautiful. Yeah, really. <laughs> Just well, well played round right there on B. Full trust in, in Flame Z, and he was set up perfectly to Great come into that honey pot. It was a full bait right on the jump spot. Flame Z up top. I mean, they walk right into that A1S. Yeah. Full control for Flame Z. Nice triple kill plus Apex. Yeah, he's been a welcome addition to Banana, that's for sure. I mean, in all of his teams, he's been playing Banana um, as the 
main aggressive rifler and just fits his personality perfectly. So this is one spot on one map that just lines up exactly right. Two round game. You already know this is going to double overtime, so just want to let you guys don't even have to leak the script. It's going to be a half by as well. I don't think they had enough to come in full commit. I wonder what the golden call. I think both teams have actually been pretty good. After that, you know, those first five rounds were complex. We were dominating it, like keeping people alive into the late round. So sure, sure. At least um, JT will have full reign in. Oh wow, okay, it does yeah. probably go to round twenty-four here with the full save coming in. Horrendous. Deagle tech nine, two Deegs and a tech nine. JT's got a Deagle on him. We know that, but there's so little to work with, and Alish has been knocked down a peg already. Deep damage out of Apex. So successful in firing down this deep line. Again, Complexity just do not have the tools for this job. Utility's already been burnt out. JT's crept in with the Deagle. Could be good for one. Ooh, but a missed chance. Floppy actually finds Zaiwu. That's the pit player dead. Hold on. Bomb's able to cross over. Could have gone for the plant. Will try to prioritize it, but Halzer gonna get run down and no bomb plant, no extra money. The slightest opening quickly shut down on Vitality, not going to let them thrive in that site. Yeah, no matter for complexity here, they don't no probably think about buying an op on T side. I think this is a great situation to see what JT is made of as the IGL of complexity. Um, he doesn't have a liege right now, but the rest of his team is actually playing extremely well. And you know that that's something that um, can happen at any time. They've got the utility they need. They have a full map of CS behind them where they know exactly how Vitality are going to play these rounds. Their prep has gone good. JT, what's the call? Nades don't find anybody. Those frag grenades do nothing for Vitality. Forward apartment setup. And we've already seen JT try to prod into Arch side. If Sphinx has to forego eyes on this, then there is nobody to pick up that slack. There is nobody who can stop this Arch wraparound without pulling somebody off B. And they might turn this into a split through Arch. They've got a liege waiting. Sphinx better be ready. He's got to be prepared no for flash multiple for bodies. They're already out, and now he, he knows can't it. He can't repeek. They're going B. They are going to go B. Mezzi looking to go for the peek. He could catch the, the bomb. bomb. He's Wait, got it. What? They drop it. And while Apex jiggles towards CT spawn, this is now a recovery mission. One man to do it. Nobody else other than a liege. What was an opening gets closed Whoa. in on Grim. He gets something back, but that bomb is still in the possession of Vitality. Mezzi hot on their heels, and it is the French to hang on. They go deep down mid. Grim, it is too much of an ask. The opening, they felt it, but Grim, no way. In no world. 30 seconds, and they are just going to vacate over towards the B site. Much scarier for Grim to go A, but at this point, uh, they can play time. He has one chance to make a read on a frag, but he's got to get the bomb and go. He's they are not go. camping this. Yeah, less than 10 seconds. As long as this coffin player doesn't die, and it is Zaiwu, so don't expect it. This is done. He doesn't even have the time. Runs in. Three seconds to the clock, he's toast, ah, and Vitality Michael, push it OT. Oh man, is it a mistake? Is it a mistake? I mean, it's hard to say. They go for the reclaim on mid because they don't have Arch control. They have a tactic in place to make up for the fact that they're not watching Arch, they're not holding CT, and that bomb obviously was yet to, was throwing nades. But I'll say this, Holzer turns his back to top middle as if that's not a possibility. Well, he's just going B, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Could still run backwards, no? Yeah, he could. I, I just don't think it's even in his in his mind. His team just wrapped Arch, right? So maybe it's a thing that eight times out of ten it works out. Situations like that, they didn't know what the setup was. I promise you guys overtime, all right? That's all I'm saying. It's not complexity unless it gets close. And it doesn't stop delivering. The question remains, will Elyse get online in this opening map? Forward app's presence again. The setup that Vitality threw out last round and never got found out. Complexity, they fell victim to that boiler control into the deep mid-peak. 
the false confidence of the B wrap, which did look doable up until Bomb went down. No extra layer on this one. It's going to be the full fledged top banana charge, Flamesy and Apex. And a smoke that will not take his vision away. Elise crosses over into the pit. He's going to fire off. And there's no trade on that one. Bomb is still stuck at top banana. Elise trying to get around this smoke, just making sure that the site is theirs for the taking is at least something to play off of. JT hands busy, spam right on top of him, but it's slightly off the mark. Can they hang on for dear life? They've got Halzerk backing up into the new box. Three strong in construction, mm. missed chance. That one tagged for a little bit of damage. Holzerk still hunting. JT falls victim to the corner. Holzerk locking in. Flashbang blinds him and his enemy. And that CT challenge is coming through smoke. Zaiwu holds. Holzerk missed chance again, but slack pick up by Elige. New box, all that they hold on to. And with a Glock in hand, he's found by the frag. Vitality's retake made easy. Nice points. How many more missed shots? How many more missed shots, man? That's a hard one to metabolize. I can't lie to you. Um, it's like all the good positions too. I like it's, that's the like the best and worst part is like he set himself up, right? He set himself up. But you gotta hit those, man. You gotta hit those. Oh my God! You want to give a team? You want to give Vitality credit for being able to pull off that retake? But you see how many times they could have lost that round right there. Zaiwu knows he basically had no option but to run through a smoke that someone's watching almost certainly. So he waited as long as possible and the shot was missed. It didn't come in. That was supposed to be complexity's round. I hate to say it, but that's your job, man. Like, that's what you're supposed to be. You can't miss the easy shots if you're an opera. I don't know how else to put it. And it's, it sullies actually a map of great moments out of Halzerk. But with complexity, with the amount of time that they spend in overtime, but these are the moments that matter the most. It's also not a situation that we're strangers to. It's not the first sequence of missed easy shot from Halzerk. Flashes of greatness. And something like that. Saiwu back at it. Pressure and banana. It's not Apex and Flamesy this time. You've got the op of Vitality in position. And he's been powering up. Oh, through the half wall. Then oh, the damage man. onto Elise, who just can't manage much. Frag grenades go both ways. Op shot goes whizzing by him. And Hulzer trying to open something towards top middle. This one falls flat for complexity. It could be economic problems in the follow-up, and we could be staring at a clean sweep of the CT side and OT. Right now, Messi just keeps his head tucked. Spinks crouched backside, and a third member of the defense not far away from this bomb site. It's going to have to be some kind of spectacular entry, but you'd assume complexity will get preoccupied with Pit, which is not held on to. Halzer, he mm. will find the opening. That's the third member down. Messi in the corner, hanging on. Flamesy, gracious, through the smoke positions now revealed. They know where they're at, and they'll do nothing about it. Complexity collapse in sight. Yeah, it's a bad molly. They can't trust it. Halzerk finds at least one frag, but that's two in a row. 10k over t uh, overtime means that uh, Complexity are going to be saving on two players. They're forcing up down to Deagles, MP9s, who knows. Zaiwu lays down the lead here, shot through the half wall. Second one as well as a wall bang. And this makes this hold easier much later on in the, in the round. It ain't half bad. Guns come out. One Galil for Halzer. Oh, okay, I guess because they never had to buy yep. an op, so. They didn't buy the Seaside op, did they? Start off? I think in the first round. That's the shot okay. Halzer missed. They've done well with the money, that's for sure. Calculators crunching numbers, pressure out of top banana. And speaking of numbers, we get this triple up for Vitality. Utility in abundance. Pressure's high, damage done, complexity by a thread, and they just keep getting pummeled by all this util. They will be fighting for double overtime by the looks of things unless somebody puts forth absolute heroics.
soul-crushing result in OT put forth by Vitality. That is complexity and regulation with both pistols, with full conversions each time a 6-0 start in the first half. And all of a sudden, Floppy gets up from Arch. Zywu's gonna step into the crosshair. Floppy, a little labored, mm. but he opens up. They have a split. And this is pressure on Flamesy with only 40 health. He's on the plate. But still, Top Banana smoked, and that's gonna buy just enough time. Look at this pace just, out of Vitality's flank. Just don't forget about it. Molly comes down. That'll get him out, but oh, he delivers. The headshot's clean. JT. Top fragging for complexity, trying to do it all with a smoke in front of the banana players. He welcomes them through it. So much secrecy for JT and a back turn! Oh! oh, oh, oh here's oh. Johnny! A 1v3 <laughs> to give them some sort of hope in OT. There we go. Johnny two time with that two kills. Beautiful stuff. They needed it. I mean, what can you say? They needed this round right here. Imagine they got swept in overtime after the T half and the climb back into the game to get to 12 first, as we normally see. They finally end the streak of rounds out of Vitality and make for a possible situation. And that guy on your screen, we're still waiting for him. 9 and 20. A well-composed clutch from the top fragger of complexity to give them that twinkle in their eye, that chance that it may get close but it could still go Cole. Floppy versus Spinks. This duel in Boiler has gone both ways. Got shoulder spotted, tries to serve up a distraction. Flamesy could try to pressure this too. They've got numbers on Floppy right now, but he's gonna smoke off one and JT actually gets plucked off top banana. Grim locked in, sending bullets down range. And Saiwu oh challenges, oh. and he won't miss. Oh. He shall not let them peek. We've seen that before. Banks up into apartments and Vitality begin to shred complexity the moment they thought they had hope. Oh, that's just disgusting. The one player that will do that, running through the smoke at the bottom of Banana with rifles behind him. And he gets the double entry. Wasn't that CS Summit when he just ran down that mm. B-bomb site? Yeah, and that's just his, his infamous pick play, but that's right, when he turned that basically into an ace. God damn. One of the early moments in that Vitality jersey where an entire panel of pundits were left in awe. And a community realized that we may have our hands on something special. Halzerk's hands hold his trusty op. For me, it was when I saw him drinking milk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> in the office. Strong bones, firm structure, lays down the foundation of a B ramp this round. That complexity can't hold back. And he got this first kill. JT, it's, he can see actually, it says it was through a smoke, but it wasn't. And yeah, the infamous play here from Zaiwu. Confident as ever with his teammates behind him. Each of these teams stars started slow. One of them has come back to life. The other has been flatlined. And now he's just playing forward every round here on Banana. Back in control of the situation, seemingly. The first two map points that Vitality have had to play with, it was complexity that let it slip in regulation. Spotting with this... Uh... He's got the AUG. Yeah. P2000, he was great with the AUG in the first half, CT side. Big part of the A site Man. holds. Floppy goes deep balcony. This is gonna get, let Flamesy get close. This is gonna put pressure on a liege. He's got to offer something and he will. A kill and a half. Floppy contested. Spinks, nice tracking. And still Hulzerk's able to keep himself alive. This could be the last round. Two on three, Zaiwu on the AWP. Oh, they almost blow Mezzi off the plant. And that would have taken Zaiwu off his perch but he will be given a chance to remain posted on high at a smoke grenade in front of Moto to serve up yet another challenge for complexity to try and get over. So much impact utility here for the CT side. Zaiwu comes back and looks. 
Short player met by a Molotov. The utility timing is perfect. And as the smoke fades, the push starts to come out. Zaiwu's ready to shoot, ready to lock this in. He misses, and he can't recover. Oh. Uncharacteristic miss. Okay. After a beautiful round, one prior complexity, they'll survive that first test with a retake on A. That's evidence that he may be human. So here's a chance here for complexity to take this into double overtime, as promised with the full buy coming in. And you could see that every little bit was important there from Halzerks, you know, one trade on the side of the site to Alicia's first as well here. To make it a 3v2 retake. Played, played down the clock, but you know, very composed at the same time. They had a plan and they executed well. Then an opening kill complexity. No, no, no. Don't give them hope. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> you might think that Complexity are simply going to win this game now. But you'd be right. For a team trying their absolute damnedest to represent North America as well as possible, they have been through so many heartbreaking results in the last year alone. A flash of success at the start of CS2 that would have convinced them anything is possible, but to get their hands back on that form. I mean, listen. Here it comes, fast challenge off the flash, but two CTs hold this off. No entry from the first two. And Elise starting to get himself in that kill feed more often than not. It is Apex to grab bomb for free. It is Apex to give himself smoke and a chance in the post plant. Pressure is high from Elise as he wraps around short. Apex gets that one and doesn't take any damage in return. He starts to push up onto the graveyard. I love this reposition. Could very well catch this next player on Moto off guard. And then what if he drops into the bomb site? Ah, they come back. Complexity gonna play this as a pack. Halzerk leads the charge. Apex, <gasps> trigger discipline. He lets them all cross. No. He's gotten unspotted. No, no. Apex, as the defuse comes through, he denies, and time's on his side! Oh, has he done it? JT jumps on top by the skin of their teeth, complexity! Oh, oh again, they hold! Woo. Well, if that was an experiment to see if he could have delayed for time, I think we have made sure to check for sure that he played it perfectly. He, that was, there was no other way he could have gotten, maybe looking down in that situation after he got the first kill, but he squeezed that stone dry. Okay, nice try, Apex. That was a pretty unwinnable spot, and they didn't come in to check graveyard of all positions just because he didn't shoot at the first guy, and they just totally forgot that it existed. It's a high pressure moment. Apex nearly takes full advantage of it. What an unbelievable situation that he could have won if JT didn't hit that headshot. Back in with fast pressure, JT. Ooh, man, he heard it. And they could have come around that corner, but instead he gets into sight. Again, the problem the CT side was a disconnect between the rotations, and they thought that CT shoved back. No re-aggression over on Banana, no re reclaim of space. It can come down to just how many entries they can deny, and a perfect spray as Floppy clears the smoke with his own ammo. And the damage is immense. Sure, they get a sight line into A, but with that smoke up, they're gonna just take a gamble. There could be players around all these corners. They jump in and find it clear. And Halzerk doesn't press his luck. Why would he? He's got teammates right behind him. Let them have their plant. Maintain man advantage and do not let these low HP players pull you, one over you. You also have an, a nade on JT. He's not using it. Missed shot, luckily. JT here to help. Flamesy. 10 bullets in that mag, and what, Jay? <laughs> of all the shots to hit, it didn't stop running. <laughs> okay.
and those go up in a cold, and they, they close out that round at least. That's a good one out of Floppy, who again, he was clearing the smoke out with just his ammo. Once that, uh, it started to come back up. Literally never <laughs> stop moving. You're just a bug on the windshield. <laughs> and I'm on the highway to freedom. 10 health and so ready to get traded. Had high confidence in JT as he missed the shot and already banked on his IGL. Now another challenge. Ooh, okay. I, it's a, the hard a one's fine. It's such a love-hate relationship. Just hit the easy ones. Just hit the easy ones. It can look so good and then fall so flat. Floppy's been strong in this position. Great chance to get the better of a liege, but now Halzer, oh, blind, doesn't fire. Apex gets something unraveled on B. There is support already here. Flash will hold them back, and the, it's not like the bomb can come sprinting in either. It still remains bottom mid. Floppy with a glance catches the player oh. trying to crawl out, and oh. that's bomb confirmed, but it's also a balcony player to creep out while B simultaneously starts to fall. A spray from Grim that gets the tree player down, but Zaiwu burns him out. And as the op dives into orange, that deep line to CT remains open. Ooh. A leash comes out, a challenge that Zaiwu doesn't expect. But all the while, a site free for the yeah, taking. Yeah, it's a ruse. And we go plant down. CT is as far as they possibly could be. Other side of the map in the two on two. Flamesy and Sphinx. have actually been waiting for some time to be able to play together. Some fresh blood on this lineup. Along with one of the best lurkers in the world. First peak's good! Ooh. Both players! Exactly what you want. Spinks and Flames come together. Serving up a round win. And that was complexity. Trying to deal with the challenge of the B site and the possibility of Bomb being on Banana. But all the while, it just gives Spinks a wide open door. Mm -hmm. Very nicely played from a world-class lurk. Tough one to get back into. Only OT of... Do the, do the timeouts reset for each OT? Each OT each one OT, time. Okay. So yeah, one per overtime. And they'll need a breather to talk again. This is when you're just exhausted playbook-wise. It's a real test of your creativity in these late moments. But for complexity, this is just regulation, so... They're perfectly comfortable. Look at the sad part there for Hauser. You know, 7-1 and one in opening duels, 28 frags, rifle highlights this game. And it would have been over if he just hit his easy shots. That's not something you want to have to focus on. There's a chance for complexity to move past it, have another chance. If they just get by now. As he was exposed there for a second. Luckily for him, JT didn't have the vision. Now he will have an angle held. Ooh, wow, yeah, no one swings in front of it. JT, full view. For a second there, he's naked and afraid. Praying that nobody peeks him and he gets away with it. But a testament to how cautious Vitality are also being. He's He's waiting for the right play, actually. He's looking for the, them to pop through the smoke. He's expecting them to do it soon. Spencey and the window flash through. comes, yeah. Yep. Ooh, and as he throws his nade out, he'll get a bit of damage for it. Rotator hadn't gone too far. Grim doubles back. All in vitality to try and nab this 17th. Oh, what? JT just shaves one off the play, but Grim comes out through smoke and dies empty-handed. Yeah, there was not even a flash for him. Nope. Just tries to challenge, gets caught. And all the vitality now locking into the post plant. Retake utility in the form of flashbangs and no other nades. 
Yeah, he's no smoke in this situation. Yeah, one just thrown out from Vitality, though, blocking off CT Cross. Ooh. And then another on Coffin. This is going to get so incredibly desperate. And so long as Vitality don't eat these flashbangs, then it should be angles held and a slaughter Ooh. of complexity. Sure enough, locked in 17 rounds to Vitality. Yeah, they wipe the board. 19 to close the game here for Vitality, 18 for another overtime. Man, all these good individual stats coming from the, the team that's not in the lead right now. And Alicia still 12 and 26. Eventually you get warmed up. Dude, I feel like there's gonna be a round. <laughs> there's got to be one cooking. <laughs> Eventually you get warmed up. Flamesy charging strong down banana ahead of the util out of complexity. He's good. Nineteen for the map win. Without help, actually. Flamesy nice. has no one here. Apex just pulled away. Apex had just left. He was toying with the thought of flashing. But bombs in T-spawn for complexity. Luckily for them, there's also a smoke in Banana, so they can use this moment to go back, but also go deep. Wrapping around the arch. Balcony player spotted. Sphinx ready for the next oh, he one. He got both three now coming his way. And as they continue to come at him on his own, Sphinx is looking rock solid. Back into the little pit, side arm in hand. That's when Elise will best him. Apex out from the library, foregoes control of the site, and tries to queue up this 2v2 retake. Oh, Zywu takes a bunch of damage, and we're gonna have Apex wrapping around, not short, but all the way through apps. I, Who will I, be I, exposed when he comes out, Balk? Yeah, it's gonna be grim, the first fight, low health, back of the site. Oh. In this crossfire, Zywu, what a shot! Through the pillar! Grim misses! Oh. And Apex bests him to give Vitality 18! Any bit of damage on either frag. And they get out of that situation alive. Instead, they both die and Vitality are one away. After coming back in regulation. They cannot get the train on the tracks. Damn. Leash takes a chance. He just sat there and waited for his opportunity. Third opportunity for Vitality to close out map one. Hell of a fight they've had here on their map pick. Hell of a turnaround from Zywu. Surviving North America's challenge. Oof. Oh! Oh, okay. That's it. Start the engine. I don't know, man. <laughs> Working with one cylinder and still <laughs> sputtering out. Okay. The liege almost gets in with a second. Oh, he's so close to finding it, and that would have just opened up the B site. But it feels like A's tantalizing. They're going to try to pop out from Balk again. Mezzi keeping his head down. Sphinx making sure that there is no entry allowed. Almost stopping everyone. But Mezzi's here to help him. And JT has been cancelled out. Sectioned off. Softened up. And soon to be shut up. As Vitality survive the test of complexity. Both pistols go the North Americans way. Full conversions in each half. A 6-0 start and a slow zyro at the start of today. But Apex and Co. stand up to your test. When we saw the beginning of that game, they may very well have needed to win Inferno. The 5-0 start for complexity. 
is quashed with a double overtime victory with a three round lead and everybody getting better for Vitality. Apex absolutely